So here's some more properties of quadratic functions. Uh, this is example number three. And sometimes these throw people because you're not too sure what to do with these if they're not in exactly the same vertex form we're used to seeing. But x squared is the same thing. So what you could do is you could actually rewrite this as one third and x minus zero squared. You see, so uh, our vertex has a zero for the x value plus two. So if it's a little bit easier for you to write it like this, you know, try that. So now we can identify that the vertex is going to be at the point zero, two. Okay, uh, it's going to be shaped like a U because this is positive, positive. and then we can draw a quick sketch of it. At 0, 1, 2, so this might be the vertex. Will this be the vertex here? It's shaped like a U, so it's going to go like this. And again, you can see that it has no x-intercepts or no zeros, no x-intercepts. Or we can say no zeros or no, no roots that are real, so they're complex imaginary, so we know that our discriminant, b squared minus 4ac, has got to be less than zero, because we don't have any roots. All right, um, does it have a minimum value yet? It goes down, it doesn't have a maximum, it, because it keeps going up and up forever, but it's got a minimum. It's gonna be 2, so that's gonna be y equals 2. And the axis of symmetry is just, if we look at our vertex here, the vertex is at 0, 2. This is the x, this is the y. So that's going to give me my maximum or minimum. In this case, it's going to be a minimum. And then this is going to be the axis of symmetry. So the axis of symmetry is a line x equals 2. Okay, I'm sorry, you can see that. Okay, so we got all that information. Anything else? Oh, yeah, well, we've got our domain. Again, the domain is all real numbers. Those are the x values. Domain, sorry. Negative infinity to positive infinity. And the range, those are the y values. And you see my y values start at 2. Oops. They start at 2, excuse me. And they go all the way up to infinity. And this should be a bracket. I'm sorry. And I kind of made an error on these, so these should be also brackets here. So we've got to correct these, okay? Sorry about that. So this should be a bracket here. And this should be a bracket here because it's equal to 3, excuse me. So make a correction on the previous videos there, okay? All right, hope that makes sense. Because it's, the range goes from, th from 2 to infinity. And infinity is always open. And this uh, range goes from 1 to infinity, and this range goes 3 down to negative infinity. So that was an error there. Make sure you make, make a correction on that. OK? All right, I'll do one more here. So again, if we look at this, um, if we put this in the form, this would be f of x equals negative x plus 1 squared. And that's going to be plus 0 because we don't have a number over here. So now we can determine the vertex is going to be the point negative 1 because it's always opposite that, negative 1. and uh, zero. So there's your vertex. And we know it's going to be shaped like an N, because that's negative. So we can draw a sketch of it. Let's 
y x and it's going to be at the point negative 1 and 0. So there's negative 1, 0. And it's going to be shaped like an N, so it's going to go like this. Something like this. It looks like it's going to have one intercept. Okay, it's going to look like it's going to have one x-intercept. Okay, and um, this is the vertex. It's going to be negative 1, 0. Um, it looks like it's going to have a maximum value. So since it has one x-intercept, we know that the discriminant b squared minus 4ac will actually be equal to 0. Okay, and looks, again, um, it's going to have a maximum value. You can see it's going to go up and up and up and stop, so it will have a maximum value, maximum. And that maximum value will be y equals 0. It's only going to go up to 0 and back down. And the axis of symmetry is just the x value. Is x equals negative 1. So see all that stuff? We can tell just by looking at the form there. And let's look at the domain. Again, the domain on all these is going to be negative infinity to infinity. And the range is going to be, we're going to go from negative infinity, we're going to go all the way up to zero, so it's going to be from negative infinity, and we're going to go to zero, and we're going to be equal to zero, so we have a, a bracket there. Okay. So again, go back and check uh, on your notes on the first one. If I've got a chance to remake it, I'll remake it and put that in there. Otherwise, just make this correction for now, okay? And if you don't see that, that means I went back and redid the video, okay? Hope that makes sense.